Matthew, how are you doing, man? Good. How's it going? Good. I'm so excited to talk to you. Uh, first off, congratulations on Uncle Puckerhead. I mean, it was, uh, I call it a punk rock indie horror masterpiece. It was so much oh fun to God. watch. Thank you so much. That means so much to hear. Uh, before we get into the movie, here at Bionic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. I want to know where your passion from filmmaking came from because you're an amazing writer and director producer. Was it a certain movie, a certain performance, or something that was naturally for you that started your passion in filmmaking and storyteller? Man, that's a great question. Um, I would say, like, <clears throat> I, I will kind of probably name a, a few things, but I, it's it's really odd. I've always loved film. I was kind of a late bloomer in terms of studying it, but uh, from like a young age, instead of uh, like watching Sesame Street or like children's programming, I was watching film. Um, so it was like, I would watch, probably Ghostbusters was the first one, but I yeah. probably... I probably watched it every day for a two year period. So I, at one point, and even now, like sometimes I'd be able to completely uh, recreate a scene. Like I'd be able to say it word for word, like pacing, like completely on. Um, but I would say Ghostbusters probably, but it, like since as, as, as far back as I can remember, film has just been like number one in terms of like my love, my passion. Very cool. Uh, I see music's kind of a big passion of yours, too. It really shows in this movie. You know, it's basically the movie's about this punk rock band who finally gets their little break of going on a little crappy tour, and they have to team up with this guy who, uh, I don't know, what, what would you describe Bunker Puckerhead? He's not like a monster. He's not a werewolf. He's not a zombie. He's just something. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah I mean, I, I always describe him just as a monster. He likes to yeah. call himself a thing. Um, yeah. There's never really kind of like laid out, uh, I would say like a monster or, or like some type of ghoul of some type. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, it, it's always kind of ambiguous exactly what he turns into. It's definitely monstrous and, and ghoulish. And, and, well, that's why and, I think it's pretty unique about the movie, though. It's not like he's like, oh, he's a zombie. No, no. <laughs> totally. Yeah, and, and that was something that like, you know, in, in earlier drafts uh, of the script, I kind of put a lot of kind of backstory and lore into it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and my girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife, was just like, dude, like, just chill on that. Like, just like, like have, have the movie be fun. You don't need like a ton of expertise position otherwise you're just going to kind of like slow the the film down in terms of the energy and just kind of like what you want the audience to kind of love on and, and care about very cool so the band is called duh and uh amazing cast where'd you find the cast for all this i mean every character and actor actress is so lovable he's so relatable in this movie I, I mean, just sheer dumb luck. I mean, the only person I knew prior to filming in terms of the main cast was uh, Jeff Riddle, who plays Max. He, he's been a friend of mine for the past, like, a, a little over a decade now. And uh, I knew I've always, like, I've, had, I've worked with Jeff. I've collaborated on other films. He was, he's been in previous bands where I've done music videos for him. Um, so this was kind of like a natural extension of both our friendship and our collaboration. Um, when it comes to uh, Chet, who plays Judy, Ruby, who plays Mel, and uh, David, who plays Peckerhead, I mean, we did a casting call, and we were just lucky enough that they came in red, and they were our first choice. I mean, they completely like as soon as you, as soon as they read like the first the first line of dialogue, um, it was like we were pretty certain like that's that's her or that's him. Um, so it was just lucky, lucky casting, and lucky that they were such great people and and really kind of brought it. Uh, I love it. Um, so who did the music for the band, duh, the, the band that uh, the subject's about, you know? Yeah, that's, so Jeff, who plays Max in the film, he wrote all of the music for duh, and nice. he wrote the music for um, the the rival band, Dominion yeah. Rival. Um, <laughs> I love the guy's no pierce, the rival band. Oh my God. That's, so that's one of my best friends who also was like a production manager. So he was like doing like <laughs> eight things at once. Um, but yeah, that's all Jeff. Like Jeff is an amazing musician. That's kind of his, his trade. He's a touring musician. I mean, obviously he's not touring now, yeah. um, but he's just somebody that uh, he, he has such great sense of like musical sensibilities. I love the music that he's written in his previous bands. And he was nice. What, what bands has he been in? I'm actually unfamiliar. He was, uh, he was in the Holy Mess, which is probably his biggest band that he was in. He's in a band now called 500 Bucks. That's actually, they've re-recorded some of Does music. Uh, like oh, really? Professionally. <laughs> um, but he's been in, like, he's been in uh, this band called Scarier Area. Um, it's like, he's, he's kind of like a, a, he was originally from South Carolina, but he's been in Philly for, I think, like at least 12, 13, maybe even more years. And he's kind of been in that punk scene. Uh, I love it. Uh, I hope you guys sell some duh t-shirts eventually. I love the design of it, actually. <laughs> yeah. 
No, we do. We we have dumb merch that we're actually uh, like on I, this. I promise I won't plug the shit out of this website, but Subtle T-Rex is kind of our production website uh -huh. with like all of our projects and stuff. And we're just going to be opening like a, a store um, with all the dumb merchandise. And that's kind of what we've been doing for like promotion when we when we did, when there was a time when you could go to festivals at like the first couple festivals we played, we had uh, merch. We have like really cool pins and stickers and, and t-shirts, oh, like awesome. something you'd see at like a merch table. Yeah, I already had the, uh, I guess the world premiere at Panic Fest in Kansas City. That uh, sounds like a cool festival. <laughs> oh, it's, it's amazing. The guys who run it are uh, like such saintly, awesome people. The, the other filmmakers that went, the fans are awesome. It's at a really beautiful uh, theater, the Screenland Armor, um, mm -hmm. that like unfortunately now is, is closed down for the time being. But it's a great theater, great people, great audiences. And it was, a total, it was totally a blast to, to open there. Uh, I loved all the special effects, blood, uh, you know, the makeup you had on Uncle Pecker. So uh, who worked on the film? Because it definitely gave that old school kind of horror theme to it, you know? Yeah, uh, so that was all, like, I knew uh, that I wanted to work strictly with practical effects and makeup, but that was just really luck, like, luckily we, we came into contact with Jared, who was our effects guru, and basically, like, he, he's, like, again, like, another great collaborator, like, was able to work with our budget, do, uh, I mean, a masterful job in that, like, there, there wasn't anything in the script that he's like, I can't do this, or this is like beyond my, my, my skill set. Um, anything, even if he had never done it before, he just kind of like, like forged ahead. And he, I mean, it's him and uh, his assistant, Sean, were just like absolutely amazing and being able to kind of, with what limited resources and money they had to work with, they did such a, an incredible job. I love it. I feel like this is just like, you know, it captures that indie music, horror aspect and everything. Um, when is this movie coming out? I believe it's uh, some theaters of uh, August 7th and then VOD after that. Yeah, totally. So we're hoping that, uh, you know, there'll be some like some drive in some some type of a theatrical because uh, the movie is made to I mean, it's like we're, we're encouraging it makes a perfect drive in movie, actually. <laughs> More yeah, I mean, and it's like that was the thing is we got such a taste for it when we played theaters for Panic Fest and, and the few other public screenings we had is like it's such a kind of like you want to be around people like just kind of like shouting, screaming, laughing, like uh, rocking out. And uh, so that, with that said, obviously, like theatrical is kind of tough right now. So August 11th is our digital VOD where you can buy or own it. And we're encouraging people to uh, like have watch parties, obviously, with people that you trust, socially distant if you need, mask up if you have to. Um, but like, you know, when we played Calgary Underground, uh, which is a film festival, uh, they did it virtually and they actually encouraged people to do the same. And it was amazing. Like we saw like dozens of people like hosting backyard watch parties where they would project it on the side of the house, um, like people in their basements with like a bunch of buddies. Cause it is like kind of like drinking some beers. Maybe you're like, you know, like you're just kind of hanging out, like just, you want to laugh. Maybe you're a little stoned and you're looking yeah. for like a fun ride. I feel like going to like a, like a house show, you know, like a yeah, small totally. rock show. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Like a little basement <laughs> show. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to play those back in the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. It's uh, where can people stay up to date with? I'm sure you have other stuff in the work that might be on hold now with everything. Is there the, you can plug that website one more time, you know, in your personal social media. Totally. So, like, subtletrex.com. There's no dashes. It's just subtle rex.com or you can just go to unclepeckred.com and it'll take you to our website there you can read about all of our future projects like we have a, a film called larry gone demon which is based on a, a short film that i did but it takes place in the uncle peckred universe oh really it involves, yeah it, take, it, it involves the band duh it involves some characters you see in the movie oh, so uncle this might peckred. expand even more after that oh that's, that's, the, I mean, that's, that's the plan cool. yeah we yeah. want to do like a, a very world building thing with this um, and you can read about a bunch of other projects we're, we're making. Um, but in terms of social media, you can find all of that on the website, sellttrex.com. But I mean, if you're looking for Uncle Peckerhead, you can Google it and you'll see like all of our, all of our shits on there. All right. Thank you, Matthew, so much. Keep up the amazing work. Steven, thanks so much for having me. It was great. All right, man. Take care. Take it easy.